Hello world, in this video I'm going to start off a series on using Codecademy to learn JavaScript and jQuery. After you sign up for Codecademy, uh, you'll be taken to a page like this and we're going to start off with the JavaScript uh, tutorials. Now, a lot of people say that jQuery is easier to learn than JavaScript and in my experience that is true, but I absolutely love uh, Codecademy's first getting started with programming with JavaScript tutorial series. If you've never programmed at all, if you've got either no experience period or only HTML and CSS experience as a lot of my students have, this is perfect. You've never really messed with a true programming language. This gets you in the zone. So let's go ahead and get started and kind of take a tour of the Codecademy uh, interface. What it tells you and on, uh, what you'll see is that I've actually already uh, completed this lesson. So what I'm going to do is I'll just start this from scratch. They've got a little tutorial, but I'll just walk you through what's going on. The instructions are going to be over here on the left. And as we get tougher and tougher uh, tasks, they'll have hints that we might need to use. We'll actually type our code in this middle section. And then that will be reflected over here through this console window on the right. When we think we've got it, we just hit the blue Save and Submit Code button, and that's how we um, that, that's how we move through. So, uh, tutorial one is type your name. So my name, Prof Mike Green, and you'll notice that here I've I've got an error, and it's got this red X unclosed string, and I'm missing a semicolon. If I fix the unclosed string, which means that I've got the double quotes as is required. Uh, it tells me I'm only missing the semicolon. It's not an error. This will work, but if I really wanted to get it right, I would put the semicolon in there. And we save and submit code. Boom. Way to go. Start the next lesson. That is lesson one. Thanks for watching.